G'day you schnazzy soup bowl of slippery shrimps and welcome back to Hitman 3. Now today we're headed to Marrakesh for Agent 47's fourth day on the job as a fresh out of the oven ICA newbie recruit. With almost no equipment options to choose from and every challenge not yet done and ripe for the taking, what kind of mischief is he going to get himself into today? Well, keep watching to find out. As for our targets, we'll be taking down Mr. Reza Zaydan and Klaus Hugo Handbag. As for my starting location, I've only got this one available and I'll be taking Taking my ICA-19 Red Trinity, a couple of cheeky coins as a distraction, my handy dandy lockpick, and my pale duck just in case things go south. Finally, I will be going to Marrakesh dressed like an absolute psychopath. And here we are, baby. Boy, oh boy, it's good to be back in Morocco. As you can see, it's a very nice place, the perfect location for international tourists to come and have a vacation. Absolutely nothing to worry about whatsoever. It's fine. Everything's fine. At least until I got here. Anyway, like I said, we've got a couple of targets to take down here, but first I thought, oh look Sapienza Italy, it's not just popular in my opinion, it's also the rest of the world's favourite city too. Ah, but first I think I'll buy myself some new Razer headphones, I think the red ones will go great. F piss off mate. Oh no, I just choked a man. Oh, <laughs> that was an accident, sorry. Just habit. Reflexes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sapienza is everywhere, literally. This just makes me want to play Sapienza again. What are we doing here, Johnny? Nope. <laughs> I guess that you've heard about me. There is no escape. Oh, wrong guy. Wrong, <laughs> wrong guy. <laughs> it was meant to be you. Come back here. Where do you think you're going, you son of a gun? Anyway, I feel like we should probably get out of here before we get into any more trouble. And congratulations, everybody. We made it outside of the first, you know, 10 meters of the map. Good job. Now we just got to get through all this. Oh, look, it's this guy. How you going, mate? What you got there? Some money? Give me some money. All right, fine. I'll give you some money. Here we go. There you go. Right on the plate. Wow, you you are my hero. Thank you. I'm, uh, I am eternally in debt to you. You're welcome, but you can't keep it. Sorry. Yeah, all right, so if you don't know, this guy is the intern. His outfit actually unlocks one of the mission stories. Not that I'd know as a newbie recruit ICA assassin. Just uh, a hunch I've got. Oh, yeah, by the way, did you know that the crack cocaines in Marrakesh comes in all different colors and flavors? Look at this. They've even got red to go with me suit. Now, we do have a couple of mission stories available to us, but the ones that I'm thinking of hitting on today is the golden touch, which also comes with the good old unhappy ending. <laughs> and the other challenge I'd like to hit on today is the bathroom break, where we're going to assassinate a target by dropping a toilet on his head. Yes, I know, a very sh** way to die. So, let's get this party started. Hey, look at this guy's head. That's a new head. How you going, mate? You got the Botox in the eyes. Love it. Oh, yeah, and if you don't already know, this telephone over here serves as an assassination device. See? Short circuit. Mmm, yummy. We also have the option of poisoning the snails over here as though they weren't already poisoned to begin with. Snail soup! Snail soup! Soft and warm and welcome. Yuck, bro. What is wrong with you? Anyway, before we get this party started, let's head down here and grab ourselves the little doodah, the doll. Oh, look, pale duck. Thank you very much, Diana. I think I'll take the briefcase too, just in case I need a distraction. And it looks like the fortune teller is currently not even set up. This is very, very sad. Mate, what are you doing in here? This is a private area. Hello, sir. I have a tie for you. Oh. Got all kinds of wonderful motives. Oh, wow. Even those bold ladies that you Americans like so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very hush hush. Okay. okay, all right. No. Where is it? Bro, this is getting weird. You told me you had a tie no, for don't me. Don't be shy. If you want it, I can get I it. I mean, I want it. I told you I want it. Give it to me now. I have a feeling you're playing me, bro. Okay, okay, no birds. How do you feel about a reptile? Got one of those big, nasty what? killer snakes. What? A reptile? Hold on, desert. mate. You just told me you had a tie for me. What's going on here? This is just getting... <laughs> this is... You know what? I don't have time for this. You, oh, God! <laughs> Fortunately, nobody even saw that happen. So there you go. Get in the box, you weirdo. And now, look at this. Turn into a Star Wars character. <laughs> <laughs> the force is strong with this one, mate. Yeah, all right, so let's not waste any more time. It seems like what we're looking for is over there beneath the floating green light bulb. Hello, gentlemen. I, trespassing. Please turn around, sir. I am here for the unhappy ending. Excuse me. Don't make me ask you again. Fine, fine. I'll take the happy ending <laughs> instead. <laughs> hey, bro, what's going on up here? I think you're a little bit too loud. Can you turn it down? 
<laughs> oh man, now if my memory serves me correctly, which it almost always doesn't, I'm pretty sure I can sneak in through here. G'day gentlemen, excuse me, I'm just looking for my sand crawler. Now to hop over this fence and butter be- Oh, that guy's not particularly observant. But I feel like maybe, just maybe, if I am a true tactical testicle, which I know I am, I can sneak through here, around here, do all of the sneaky stuff. Look at this, look at this, straight past the consulate. Then I'll slip around here, go around this guy, slip into this door and... Change of clothes? Yeah, mate. Swiggity swooty, reporting for duty. Then, now that I am no longer suspicious, I will just walk directly through the front doors of the General Sweden of Consulate. Valkommen. It is me. How are you? Sir, we were in the middle of a diplomatic crisis. Oh, really? I'm in the middle of a midlife crisis. <laughs> Funny, that, isn't it? That was Connie Engstrom. Oh, hold on, listen, listen. Con Condom Enstrom is wanted at the reception desk. That's the massage guy. Let's find him. I'm pretty sure... If I'm not mistaken, he's in the bathroom now, doing a poopy. He's in the conference room on the phone with his boss, trying to squeeze out of an appointment with Strandberg. All right, he's in the conference room. Where is the conference room? I wonder if it's in here. Hello, is this the conference room? Um, listen, I don't know what's the matter, but you look like you shouldn't be driving. I'm just going to steal your car keys. Thank you. Well, I haven't checked this room yet. Maybe this is the con- No, this definitely isn't the conference room, but there are a whole bunch of kitchen knives in here that I just can't wait to stuff in my pants. And then through here, oh, <laughs> a meat cleaver. Yeah, I'll stuff that in there too. And another knife. Thank my lucky stars. My pants are a very dangerous place to be right now. Must not trip over. <laughs> Must not trip over. <laughs> Agent 47 taking circumcision to whole other levels since 2024. Who are you? Oh, f He's fine. He's just having a nap. The guy's been working hard. Relax. If I just drop all these sharp objects on the floor, then maybe it'll look like an accident. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm convinced. Yeah, this is bullshit. There's nothing going on out here. <laughs> Hold on, what? <laughs> what the hell, bro? Are you kidding me? Nothing going on out here. What the what? Nothing indeed. Oh, no. All right, this is Escalate. Oh, <laughs> all right, mate. Settle down. Oh, no. Another one. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Go away. Okay, so this, this is just... This is going to be hard to explain. Actually, you know what? Maybe. Here, we just put everyone over here next to the stove, and then the stove just accidentally explodes. And I think we might actually have ourselves a relatively believable situation. A little... Oh. Oh. Anyway, given the unavoidable number of deaths that have occurred in Marrakesh today, I feel like I should probably head into the security office and do something about the security machine. Where is it? Mate, this is a weird security office. You don't even have the security camera machine in here. Well, I think this is the last room that I haven't checked yet. Maybe Condom Enstrom is... Here he is. What are you doing in here, Condom? Anyway, now that old Connie's stuffed in the wardrobe, let me take his clothes and wah wah wee wah, I do not look anything like my name tag. But it's fine, everything's fine. Let's go get this unhappy ending out of the way, shall we? Yeah, g'day, how you going? I'm here for the old massage. Uh, Mr. Engstrom, please proceed to the massage room. Alright, is it okay if I take my knife? It's my favourite knife. I take it everywhere with me. I also quite like me meat cleaver. Is that okay? I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. Thank you for being understanding. All right, well, that's where we're going. And I guess... Oh, oh, he's already in there waiting for me. Look, this guy is an eager beaver. Hey, everybody. I'm here for the deep tissue massage. Oh, mate, you're asking for it. That is an offer that nobody can refuse. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Hey, everybody. I'm back. All right. Just put your head down on that pillow there. All right. Good man. Don't worry about this. <laughs> this big old meat cleaver is fine. Target down. Next up, Razor Zaydan. Well, here I am standing outside the public toilet. Don't worry. It will all make sense soon. I'm trying to line up a joke. Ah. Come. I will show you your destiny. It's not far. <laughs> Anyways, for my last remaining target, he appears to be all the way over there in the abandoned high school. To get in there, though, I'm going to need an outfit like this. I 
didn't do that, bro. What the hell? Stop it. Stop. And here we finally are. How you going, gentlemen? Everyone doing well? Doing the old push-ups? Good to see. So the room I'm looking for is this one right here. And it just so happens that me target is right there. Didn't even notice me. Stupid idiot. Now, if I can get him downstairs, then I can plop this on his head and end his miserable life with a filthy old toilet. To do that, though, I'm going to need to play with the radio system thingy. So <clears throat> let me head downstairs and do that. All right, here we go. Turn on school intercom. Let's do this. That okay. Oh, oh they found <laughs> they found my shenanigans. Good thing I'm not there anymore. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now their conversation is being broadcasted on the intercom and everybody can hear it. Uh-oh, somebody's in trouble. Now, as soon as he starts to head down here, I'm gonna slip upstairs. Here we go. Little bit closer and <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what those guys are thinking. Well, it looks like my work here is done. Out the window I go, and it's time to make our way to freedom. Wow, look at this ride. I'm going to look good driving out of here in this bad boy. See you later, everybody. It's been real. Real freaking tactically testicle. Wow, worst score in the entire world. <laughs> I'll take it.